I'll be using just 12 columns to carry this building you are seeing here on my screen. This building is a six-story hotel building located in Cape Town, South Africa. Now, the reason of using just 12 columns to carry this structure is based on the design architects and also the clients. They don't want to have much columns on the structure because of the features the building has. In the course of that, that made me to have a decision of using 12 columns and positioning them on the critical point of the structure. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to locate critical points of a structure or of a building and then to place your vertical support members like columns and walls. Also, because of I'm using just 12 columns to carry this six-story building, that made the length of beams will be at a minimum of 7 meters and above. In the course of that, this video will have more value for a particular stages of engineers. Beginning from the intermediate engineer to senior engineers and to well higher experienced engineers. Now, by saying that, I am not scaring other engineers below these stages. For example, junior engineers and students. If you're a junior engineer, don't get uh, angry because I will be breaking all the principles down that is involved in designing long span beams and also a structure of this kind. And if you're also a student, don't get it twisted because I will also be breaking it down to your own level for you to understand all the principles involved. So with this, we can now then begin the structural framing of this particular structure. Now, this is a real life project. As I said again, it is located in Cape Town, South Africa, which you will see the site plan and every other plans involved. Also, note that this particular structure which, which you're seeing here have a complete course video which we recorded beginning from the structural framing up to the modeling, design, analysis and then performing interactive check on the members and then going for the foundation design which we used a raft foundation for this particular six-story building. Now, the reason of using the rough foundation is because of the properties of the soil or, or yeah, the soil test and the bearing capacity. So it was a rough foundation that was suitable. So in this video, also in the course video, you will also learn the choices on how to choose the type of foundation for a particular structures. So if you want to get the course video, you can look at the link below this video description and then purchase the course video or you go to our bio and go to our Ekide online store and then you can see other courses and other uh, materials which will enable you on your structural engineering career. If you also want to follow this video as we are designing, you can also purchase the CAT file following the link below this video description. So by knowing this, we can then begin right now, but we cannot begin if we, do, if we don't support us by also recommending your friends and colleagues to also know what is happening here on Ekidel. Knowing that the mission of Ekidel is to train the younger engineers and to make knowledge as simple as, as it is in the area of civil or structural engineering. I have not been around for a very long time. For like a month now, I have not been around. I went on break and other things too. But right now, in this month of October, I am currently available and I welcome you all to the month of October. Yeah. So I would like you to do me a favor by liking this video and also sharing this video to your best friend that is also a civil or structural engineer. Now that you have liked the video and also shared to your friends, we can then begin what we have for today, which is the structural framing of this six story hotel building. And if you're from South Africa, know that Ekidel has come to your land and I greet every um, citizens of Cape Town that is watching this video right now. We hear you and then let's begin. 